patients. This is a disease that really impacts patients' lives. Um, patients lose sleep. The itching is unbearable for a lot of patients. And so um, really having a therapy for this uh, it has been a, a great breakthrough and a great help to those patients. Chronic idiopathic urticaria generally lasts somewhere between one to five years. It will eventually burn itself out in the vast majority of patients. Um, however, we generally need to continue treatment until the patient has a disease-free interval of at least three to six months. Um, from there, we will then start to reduce treatment. So for example, if they're taking oral antihistamines, then we will um, reduce the number, reduce the dose, and see if the disease comes back. If it does, we can always bump it back up. If not, we can do that until we're able to. The future of treating this condition are probably going to be other therapies that target this uh, IgE and uh, receptor interaction. With omalizumab, uh, for the treatment of chronic idiopathic urticaria, it seems to work regardless of patients' uh, serum IgE levels. That's not the case when we use the same drug to treat asthma. Um, there are probably patients who have very high uh, serum levels who um, may not adequately respond to omalizumab or patients who may have side effects with this. So other drugs to target this area. Also um, other antihistamines means, um, including, you know, drugs that maybe uh, have reduced sedation, although the drug, the antihistamines that we have now are generally pretty good. Most patients can tolerate them. However, sometimes at high doses with multiple non-sedating drugs, patients will complain of sedation. The biggest challenge in being a dermatologist is that you never know what's gonna walk in the door next, and you need to make sure that you stay familiar with lots of different conditions. You need to uh, know how to diagnose it. You need to know what diseases it's associated with so we can't just treat the skin. We have to make sure that we are thinking about our patient's comorbidities, what the skin may be telling us about what's going on uh, inside their body as well, and then keeping up to date with all the treatments.